using we can use a lot of different things to build websites and we have Dreamweaver on our remote PCs or you've gotten it if you've bought the whole suite and if you go to Brightswave space you can download something called your STE file now this gives you all the definitions of how to FTP with Dreamweaver this is what we did before so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Dreamweaver I'm going to go to site manage sites and I'm going to add import site and I've got it sitting on my desktop and I wander down here then I'm going to go first thing it asked me where is my major um, <clears throat> piece going to be so I'm going to go down here and it was in the roof so I say okay and I'm going to say done now let's look and see what it's what's happened first of all let's change it to my name roof arts 20 okay fine no problem so when I go into here you'll see that what this has done this has set up my server because I have a server that's all been set up um, with a password that's long and painful so I've set this all up so you don't have to do it and it's a, a safe uh, it's an FTP you can see it's all set up there's the there's its site and there's its port and this is going to be important because I'm going to want you to eventually um, upload these probably next week so what we're going to do is we're going to start with writing ourselves some new code now I've already started here and what I'm going to do is let me take this off and I'll show you how I did this so we've been playing with code so what I did was I just said file new HTML and I created it and then I started building all this stuff inside um, basically I changed the name to my name here and I went to the index and I said okay I want um, what do I want to have happen uh, so I'm going to go in here and I want to have all these things link up to it now the beauty of working in Dreamweaver is I can do this I can go to design and I can say okay I'm going to call do my AA mill I'm going to do my haiku now remember I've got this all in uh, boy my spelling is atrocious alright so I can actually do this now I've made the link so it should be going right here once I've done that I can do one of two things I can either go in here and I can click on it and say open and what it's telling me is until I save this is relative so then I'm going to go here and I'm going to um, I can do it another way I'm going to go in here and I'm going to open up alphabet AML, AML. I got a bunch of them you've got a bunch of them so you're going to have different numbers for them but I'm just going to go for no so I'm just pulling this out and then I'm going to do the same thing with alphabet I'm just I'm going to go inside again mine are slightly different names open now when we look at them you'll see what it is is it's showing me a hard link when I save this file save as and I'm going to save this over the top of index replace it now watch what happened uh, no. see notice all those hard links went and now it's sort of a contextual link now what I did was I made a I made a I'm so good when I taught when I did it the first time eh um, let me open this up okay. so there's my doc type and what I did was I actually made a wrapper for it this is what I did earlier so here are all my links and I can actually look at just at the code and so what I need to do is I need to link it to my CSS I can never remember how this code looks so I cheat I go to I say okay where do we do that oh and I think I did it in for me in week six where's my link what's it look like that's how it looks like 
Now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to put it in my head. And I want to link it to a new one called index two, because I've already got one index one. So I'm linking it there. Now I'm going to say file new um, CSS create. And I'm going to call this file save as. I'm going to put this outside index two. Now, I'm going to again go back, and this is where I, a lot of this, what you're doing is borrowing from yourself. So I'm going to add alphabet one because I know this works. I'm going to grab the body, the content, the container, copy it. I'm going to walk it back to HTML. Now, you notice this one has got, this one is linking to where I want it. So I'm going to go to the link, put that in, control V, file, save, call. And I'm going to go back to my index. This is, it may feel more difficult when you're initially starting it, but eventually it will work better. So there's the wrapper. There's the content, uh, let's see, what is it? Uh, div class content. See, now it's actually telling me what it might be. So I can open that. This, unluckily, it gives me the second one, so i got to grab that and put it here. We save everything. Design. There we go. So now I'm starting to build it. Now, interestingly enough, I don't like these on the left-hand side, so I'm going to go and play with it a little bit in my index. How I'm going to do that is... I'm going to say that, you know, for all of these, I really want the um, text to be centered. Now, the nice thing about working in Dreamweaver is you'll see it starts coming up with and I'm going to hit center and semicolon. Oops, semicolon roof. Okay. And then I can say, well, you know, the wrapper for this doesn't need to be quite so big. So I'm going to make that 60%. And I'm going to put my, so you can see I'm starting to really play with this. Going back to my source code, they're all sitting up here because um, they're linked to it. This is not actually linked to it. It's just sort of sitting there. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to make, there's that one. So you can go back and forth, H1. Ruth West. All right. So you can see how you can start playing with this. You're calling it index, and the reason you're calling it index is because it's going to be uploaded. Everything from now on is going to be uploaded, but first we want to get this up and running, and I want you to play a little bit in Dreamweaver and see how it feels.